What up, everybody? Welcome to the episode two of season two of a show nobody gives a fuck about except people in Japan. Uh, today, I'm your host, not Rafa. And today, we're going to be talking about... Didn't we do this already? I could have swore we just did this, like, last episode. Didn't we not do this already? Just, just do it. Just, no. Just, just, just do it. It's, it's part of the script. I wrote, like, I, wrote it, a, I wrote it right here. It's just do it. It's isn't funny. Is this a script for episode one? No, no. It's, a, it's no, the same fucking no, joke. It's no. It's it's a no. It's episode. Two. Just do it. It's funny. Do you really not have any sort of creativity that we just gotta rehash jokes on episode two, dude? I mean, wow, that's very. You know. I'm just. I'm just saying. We we starting off strong, and then we tripped and fell. Welcome to Otaku, episode two of season two. Oh my god, we're here. We're not canceled, right? Because we cancel everything in this fucking channel. Like Uncharted. Like Uncharted. Boom. Remember movie reviews? Gone. Just a tip. Get out of here. What's the other stuff we canceled? Uh, quick, 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 quick. Uh, 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 until dawn. Oh, this shit we canceled. Come on, guys. Uh, 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 oh. The vlog. Yeah. Out of uh, here. Abel. Abel. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck out of here. But anyways. I am the anime correspondent here at GigJar3000. I'm your one and only host, Rafa, I think I already said that. But anyways, I'm here to give you guys the most recent anime news, the best suggestions around, and of course, what to avoid, what not to watch. Don't watch School Days, alright? It's a fucking piece of shit show where this guy, he gets this girl, and he's like, yo, let's fucking bang, bitch. And she's like, no, I don't wanna. He's all like, oh, I'm just gonna go bang other girls. Through the whole show, that's all he does. He's just banging chicks, and it's like, what the fuck? Fuck him. Why? Why is why does he get away with, you know, banging chicks left and right? I mean, any girl just walks in the frame, boom, he bangs them. It's like, what the fuck kind of shit is that? You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. He knows what I'm talking about. Just kind of bullshit, you know? I'm a cool dude, right? I'm an average guy, you know? I'm just chilling out, hanging out with the homies, you know? Is it too much to ask to have a 12 woman harem? To have a bitch on my dick 24-7? No, it is not. And it's fucking bullshit. I pay my taxes, you know? You know, I'm a family man. I pay my rent. You know, my credit's good. What's a good credit number? 735. Mine's fucking 969, bitch. I deserve a 12 woman harem. I'm just saying, I tried. It's not, it's not on Amazon. I can't put on my wish list. Cause that's human trafficking. And that's illegal. Fuck me, right? Is it? Fuck me in the ass, right? Might as well, if I can't have a 12 woman fucking harem. That's enough of that. Let's go on with the show. As you guys may or may not know, if you're new to the channel, or if you haven't seen it yet, my last video was the top 10 Netflix uh, picks, anime picks on Netflix. Fuck, I just fucked up that sentence all crazy. But anyways, that's pretty much just me picking the top 10 anime on Netflix. Suggested it to you guys, so you guys go check it out. So this week, we're gonna follow the same type of video, uh, but instead we're gonna use the other really big, huge streaming service that's out there. Pornhub? Not Pornhub, close. Talking about Hulu, obviously. I mean, what other big streaming services out there? Pornhub. Other than Pornhub. <laughs> now, before I start off with the list, I just gotta let you guys know that it was very hard to make this list. Like, really, really hard. There's over 200 anime uh, shows on Hulu, and that's a lot. There's some that I wasn't even able to see. But most of them, I have seen. Hopefully, you guys like what I picked. Uh, if you didn't, let me know what you guys think down below in the comments, you know. Give me what's your top 10 list on Hulu. That'll be cool to check out. Maybe I'm missing some. Also, remind me before we start, uh, these top 10 picks, they're not um, they're not ranked in any order. These are just top 10. These are the ones I like. Go watch them, pretty much. So we're gonna get on with it. Starting off the list with number 10 is Cowboy Bebop. How could I not put this on the list? It's loved, just loved, critically acclaimed. It's fucking, just everybody loves it. Like, I don't, I don't think I've met a single person who's not liked at least liked Cowboy Bebop. Some good shit. John, you know you like that shit. You don't know my life. You know you like that shit. Anyways, it, um, it revolves around uh, four people, and they're, it's a Bounty, Bounty Hunter crew, and they're on the Bebop, that's the name of the ship. And the year is 2071. Ooh, wow. That's like... <laughs> <laughs> wow! And it follows these guys. Uh, the main guy's name is Spike. He's really, he's a real cool dude. You know, 
is he vapes. That's how cool he is. You just follow their adventures and it deals with a lot of like, um, really uh, interesting topics like uh, isolation and loneliness and boredom and it really deals with these, like the philosophies of those ideas and stuff like that uh and also what's like awesome it has a nice twist of jazz in there one of the best openings hands down i don't give a fuck what anybody says that opening is legendary one of the best shows ever uh you can pretty much count any anime that came afterwards that was influenced by power bebop number nine samurai champ lu Awesome show. I love this show. It's in the Edo period. I think I said that right when with samurais and stuff like that. I follow three main characters, uh, Mugen and Jean. They're like they're like the badass dude. They're like super badass guys, right? And then once they face each other, they're like, I'm I'm the main badass dude, and the other's like, I'm the main badass dude too. So they have to like, well, they don't have to, but they fight each other to see who's the best of the best. So they're like gonna kill each other, but right before they kill each other. Fu, the waitress, she's like, hey, dudes, don't kill each other yet. Help me find the samurai who smells the sunflowers. You guys can go kill each other once we find them. And they're like, sure, let's fucking do it. And it's, that's their journey right there. They have to go find the guy who smells the sunflowers. And it's awesome. Also, also like uh, Cowboy Bebop, it has a nice mix of hip hop in it instead of jazz. The guys who worked on Cowboy Bebop, coincidentally, worked on this show too. Who knew? Another great show. Another great show with a good, really good uh, English dub by Call of Bebop. Number eight, Afro! That's right, Afro Samurai. Fucking awesome, super violent, titties everywhere, good shit. In this world, it's like, it's a futuristic uh, feudal Japan, we used that word earlier, remember, remember? Um, with a mix of hip hop. Like really heavy hip hop influence on this one. And there's two headbands, right? There's a number two headband and a number one headband. Whoever has the number one head headband is considered the best of the best, top dog. Nobody can fuck with you. You are considered literally a god. The only person that can fuck with you is the guy with the number two headband, right? And and whoever has the number two headband can go fight the number one headband. If you have the number one headband, nobody can mess with you other than the number two headband. And the guy who has the number two headband, anybody can go after that. Anybody, You're the mailman, the neighbor, the old lady with some cats, anybody. John, Alex, me, if you have it, I'm coming for that ass. That's how it goes, and that's the, what this world set up. Uh, Afro Samurai, uh, he was a little baby, and his dad was number one headband. Papa Afro, let's just call him, has to defend, you know, the number one headband. He's going against this cowboy dude who has the number two headband, and the cowboy dude kills Papa Afro, and then uh, the cowboy guy's like, Hey, baby Afro, come fuck with me when you're old enough. Get this work, bitch. But pretty much that's what happens. That's like the premise. So Afro's like, yo, I gotta get, I gotta be the best of the best then get revenge on my dad because he got killed and his head got cut off. Fucking super violent, over the top. If you like violence, if you like blood, dudes getting cut off, if you like titties, some booty, this is the show for you right here. Can't get any better than this. Number seven is Trigun. Oh my God, another oldie but a goodie. If you haven't heard this show, this is a great show right here. It revolves around uh, Vash the, the Stampede. It's just this legendary dude that wherever he goes, destruction follows. He also has a bounty on him for, I think, six billion double dollars, six million dollars, 600 million. A fuck ton of money is on this guy's head. So everybody's going after him, you know? Um, and that's pretty much his journey. Like, there's these two insurance, like, ladies that follow him around. Try to, like, make sure they, they know everything that's happening. Like, make sure, like, he's not fucking up the whole city. But, you know how it goes. Seriously, it's great humor. Awesome characters. Vash is, like, really funny. He's a really likable guy. Uh, we just like seeing what situations they get and how they get out of it. Stuff. It's just a really fun show. Like, that's legit. It's just a really fun show. It's goofy. It's silly. The action's over the top. Highly recommend this show. Number six, Fully Cooly. Uh, one of my favorite shows, personally. Uh, it's the shortest anime on this list. It's only six episodes long. Uh, it rolls around this kid named uh, Naota. He's in some middle school kid. And it's a coming, of, a coming of age story. He grows up, he figures shit out and stuff like that. It's really good. Uh, one day he's hanging out with uh, this girl, this older girl. And then this, this girl on a Vespa bike, or it's a scooter, like runs him over right 
and then he's like dying and shit and she gives him CPR and he comes back and then like as he's like coming back like oh man I just got hit by a bike she takes her bass guitar and like hits him in the head like full force just like baseball swing and he gets a bump on his head it's not like just an average bump like it grows out like a big ass dick at a certain point anyways uh out of this bump he has in his head robot starts showing up what oh my god why ah oh, and they show up and they start fighting each other this show is so eccentric and over the top and crazy and you love it just it, there's so much happens in the six episodes and you wish it was more which coincidentally there will be more hopefully that's good it's a great show i really recommend you watch it it's Special heart, special spot in my heart, that show right here. Boom, I love that show. And number five, Clan Ed slash Clan Ed After Story. Hey, you like feeling sad? You like feeling depressed? I know I do. Back in the day, this show moved me to my core. I cried like a Bitch, watching this show. But anyways, it follows Tomoya and Nigisa. I think I said that right, hopefully I said that right. They're the main characters. They get together, spoiler alert, sorry, boom. Clan Ed, it's like Tomoya, and he's hanging out with his friends. And you kind of see like their journey and like their problems they got going on. And he gets together with uh, Nagisa. Clan Ed, after the story begins, showing their life after high school which uh this is something that most shows don't even do most shows don't even show them show the two characters getting together i just finished watching this one like a day ago i was upset i was like yo get together and they didn't it was like fuck you it shows them being together it shows them getting married it shows them having a kid it's fucking awesome the shit that you want to see happens do they fuck they fuck you don't see it though right, you don't see fuck? it yeah moving on to number four is toradora Another romantic comedy. It rolls around Ryuji, but hopefully I said that right, not fuck it. And this girl named Taiga, and uh, in their friendship, and like you, you see them trying to help each other out to get with like with their friends, and then you know shenanigans ensue, and then they start slowly liking each other, and it's all cute and stuff. It's a good show. Uh, if you like character types like the Sundere. This is your show right here, cause Taiga, she is the queen of Sundare. Ryuji, he's a delinquent. Well, well, not really. People think he's a delinquent because like he has like really like evil looking eyes. So people are like, yo, this guy is fucking serious. So people think he's like a bad dude, right? But he's like, he's a really good guy and he's really nice. And he's like, he's always wants to clean things and stuff. And Taiga, she's like this really short girl. And like people treat her like a kid, but she, she actually like, she's a freaking little bitch at times. Like she'll whoop your ass and stuff like that. At times he gets kind of silly with the melodrama, which it was kind of like a little like, uh, I didn't really like it that much, but it works. It's really good. For some reason it works for this show. Really good, highly recommend it. Check it out. If you like romantic comedies, you like Sundaris, perfect, 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 perfect. Running off the top three of my list with number three. With, it's called Beyond the Boundary. It's really good. It's one of the more recent animes. Actually, not that recent. Now that I think about it, but it's really good. It follows this guy named uh, Kihito and this girl named. <laughs> God damn it, dude. I was trying to be like sneaky. Uh, Mi Mirai. I think I said that right. So, pretty much, I'm just kind of give you what happens. Mirai, this girl, she's gonna kill herself. She's gonna jump off a building, right? And then Akihito, so he like runs up and saves her. And as he saves her, she forms a blade out, out of her blood and stabs him in the chest. But then you find out that Akihito is, he can't die, he's immortal. So it turns out that Akihito is uh, half human, half, I think it's called Yumi or Yumi or some shit like that. He, he's like half demon, pretty much. And uh, Mirai, she is like the spirit warrior dude to like hunt uh the yumis which are the demons and that's what they do like they hunt them and that's her job to hunt them she's not good at it though and she wants to practice boom solution what better way to practice with your schoolmate who can't die hunt him down and kill him right easy peasy he won't die he'll like he'll hurt because it hurts him but he'll be back tomorrow it's good as new like he told, he wants to stop you know stop being stabbed because like nobody likes being stabbed right pretty much he's like i gotta help her get good at like hunting these demon dudes so she'll stop killing me because again nobody likes being stabbed 
that's pretty much the premise of the show and that's it goes on from there and you see their adventures and you meet the other awesome characters the animation is super crisp looks so nice it's like it has like that really nice fluffy soft feel like look to it kind of like a K-On, but it's action-packed and uh, it's so smooth how everything goes it's like if they took some high-end animation and put it on naruto boom oh snap just came out of naruto beautiful story the, oh, the ending then it was bittersweet it was lovely at the same time it was sad uh, like you know i don't i don't cry you know i never cry except for when i cry Number two, uh, it's another romantic comedy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can tell there's a pattern here. There's love, I have to look at it, sorry guys, because I, I can't say this word. Love, Chunibyo, and Other Delusions. I think I said that right. But anyways, this show follows uh, Yuta and this girl named Rika. I think I said that right. So, Yuta, before he went to uh, high school, they had this thing where they kind of like, they pretend they're somebody else. Like most of the time, like fantasy, like magical people like he was dark flame master and he will talk like this and he'll do like stupid ass poses like this you know you know when you go through those phases you're just like oh my god i can't believe i did that that's pretty much what they're going through so utah going to high school he's like yo i'm not gonna do that shit i'm going to a whole different other school where people don't know me so i'm gonna start over in high school he meets this girl named rika who is still doing that same shit you know she's acting like she has like spiritual like spiritual and magical powers and stuff like that and she finds out what, what he used to do and she's like oh shit he's one of me so i'm gonna hang out with him so that's pretty much what happens and you know they become friends and yuta's trying to help her kind of like get away from that but she you know she likes doing it so the great show super funny awesome comedy last but not least number one kayon oh i know Shit. Right. Yeah. K-On! Of all the fucking shows you can pick from, from fuck it, here you guys right now. K-On is your number one? Yes, it fucking is. You know why? Because it's my goddamn list. That's why. K-On is my favorite fucking show. Like, one of my favorite shows ever. Like, ever of all fucking time. And honestly, I don't even know why. Like, legit, this is the, this is K-On, the, like, the recap of the story. Five girls. They're in a light music club. They eat cake, drink tea, and play music, and goof around, and hang out, and do nothing all day. And that's it. And then they graduate. That's the fucking show. Like, no lie. But I fucking love it. The story's not complicated. The characters are, like, really easy. They're not really that complex. Uh, the formula, the show is like, they're hanging out. Joke, joke, joke. Hanging out some more. The end. I don't know. I just love this fucking show. It's just like, it's so good. It's just so fucking good. So that is pretty much my list. Uh, not the most, uh, I don't wanna say predictable list, I guess. Uh, but it's my list, so fuck you, how about that? You don't like it, how about you fight me, huh? Put my address in there, don't put my address in there. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, tell me what you guys think. You agree, you disagree. I feel like you guys are going to disagree, but I don't know. Don't hate me. Um, just let me know down below in the comments. I'd love to hear what you guys think. Again, there's over 200 shows on, on Hulu. I know I missed some. I know there's some that you guys think that should be on here, but it's not. Let me know in the comments. I'll go check it out and go watch them. I won't update this list, because fuck you. Maybe you guys go check out some shows that I mentioned that you guys haven't seen. I watch good shows, I think, hopefully. Right? No. My suggestions are good, right? No. Subscribe. Before I leave, remember to subscribe, like, and comment, all that stuff. Share. Let people know about us. Spread the word. Because we really we're not good at marketing. We kind of need you guys to do it for us. Roll to 500. Oh yeah, get us to 500 sub, uh, subscribers. We're gonna have a special video for that. Uh, mixed with a giveaway. Oh my God, what are they gonna give out? What are we gonna give out? Dicks. But anyways, well we have events coming up. It's gonna be awesome. Also go check out the ben Bento Box podcast on. SoundCloud exclusively on SoundCloud. And iTunes, if we get approved. And iTunes, iTunes hopefully. But it's awesome. It's John and I. Yeah. And we talk about anime. But that's it. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye. 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 You can I'm never. You can never. I'm tapping it. You have to wait for it to hit it exactly. Oh shit! You are pissing me off. <laughs> Oh, wouldn't it be nice if we... <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> label websites we talked about not going to, you're gonna have to go there. If you want to finish the show, if not, you can just leave it. But you, you need to finish the show. It's just too goddamn good. Number seven, Kill a Kill, an awesome show. 